Hello and welcome back to Tech Day's 10 Minute IT Jams. I'm Tech Day's Managing Editor and today we are speaking with Aussie Broadband's General Manager of Sales, Aaron O'Keefe. Aussie Broadband is an Australian telco provider of internet, mobile and many other services to local businesses and consumers. The company is based in regional Victoria and provides services all across Australia. Welcome. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Right, we'll get stuck into it. The first question, for an IT manager who, that hasn't worked with your company before, what are your key products and offerings? Um, so our, key pro, our number one key product in our, our wheelhouse is, uh, is NBN. Um, we've, got, we've got a history now of being able to provide NBN um, faster and quicker um, than, than other providers. Um, that's our wheelhouse product. And we provide all of NBN services from the TC1, TC2, TC4 um, and the Enterprise Ethernet product um, all through our, our carbon portal and uh, through Quoti and through our call centre um, and whatnot. Um, secondly, we provide um, supporting services such as um, hosted phone systems, um, SIP trunk uh, products. Um, uh, they're, they're, the, they're the main products. E the, um, the NBN services can be provided as SD-WAN, as Layer 2 um, and as MPLS and of course um, as Internet. Um, so we cover, you know, all of NBN's uh, products and that is our wheelhouse. Brilliant. All right. So what has uh, Aussie Broadband been up to? Uh, what are your most recent product announcements or improvements? Yeah, so we've, we've, we, we, we bring out things fairly regularly uh, at Aussie Broadband. We don't sit on our, on our hands. We, uh, we get things done uh, and we re release new products to the market fairly regularly. Um, Two things most recently. One is our, our uh, high speed NBN plan. So up to the gigabit slash 400 um, in, a, in a business case or slash 50 um, in a residential case. So that's uh, 1,000 um, down and 400 up for businesses and 1,000 uh, down and 50 up for, uh, for residential customers. Um, it's proved extremely popular, uh, way more popular than we had actually predicted, um, which, is, uh, which was fun to watch. Um, absolutely, watch the sales numbers come through, come through with those. Um, we've also released our, our carbon portal, and this has been um, many, many, many months of work, um, lots of design that went into it. Um, and the carbon portal um, was designed to make life easy for our customers and our partners, um, for ordering services and for, ma and for in particular managing their services. Lots of providers out there make it relatively easy to order a service sometimes, um, but actually managing the service post uh, post order and seeing where things are up to from a provisioning perspective, um, uh, and also changing the order, changing the service down the track, um, uh, we make that really really easy with our carbon portal and our NSO uh, backed network, which is the Cisco product uh, network services orchestration, which makes things happen instantly rather than waiting days, weeks, or months for things to happen. Brilliant. So you've talked a little bit about carbon there. Uh, I understand you've just added your 100th partner to the platform. Uh, why has this been such a success? Yes, we have just uh, put our 100th on and we just missed out in the first month um, after launch. We got 98 in the first month. Um, so we're a bit unhappy that we didn't quite get to 100 um, but uh, in the first month. But uh, look, the week after the first month, we'll put quite a few more partners on. So. Um, yeah, it's been uh, very successful um, uh, so far um, and is only, is only getting busier and bigger uh, as we go. So um, the, the reason why so far it's been successful is we're doing something different to the rest of the market. Um, we're, making, we're making life easy for especially the partners and the MSP type companies out there, the IT providers, um, making it just simple to order the service, um, live SQs, no waiting around, and that goes for all of NBN's products, not just their TC4 product, but their TC2, TC1, and their enterprise ethernet product, um, which often you do have to wait a long time to find out, one, the price, B, whether you can actually get it at your premises or not, and if there's an upfront cost involved, that's all live through our system because we've built an API, you know, B2B system with, uh, with NBN um, so that we can produce that information live. So just making life easy um, for our partners um, and our customers um, has been the key uh, to the success so far. All right, so business customers come to you or any provider with lots of different requirements. What are the biggest challenges that they face when they're trying to sign up to tel telco services? Uh, one of the one of the biggest is the timeframes involved. Often, um, uh, just the timeframes of getting all of your sites uh, service qualified waiting for pricing to come back, um, you know, um, things like that. Um, 
that's one of the biggest and just the complicate the comp the complicated way it's done has been done in the past um, where, you know, for the bigger customers an account manager has to be involved in a BDM and, and all those sorts of things that run around and there's a quote done here and some SQs done here and things like that. Um, they're the biggest challenges. And, and, and I guess carbon solves that by you can go and do that yourself um, online uh, in real time and get the same information uh, that you would get if you called our call center. Um, Cause we have stamp our pricing is very standardized across the board no matter what channel you come in, come in from, whether it be uh, via our carbon portal or via our call center, or even via a tender um, type scenario or via our partner managers, you're gonna get exactly the same information, uh, which is often a problem um, uh, for customers who are getting very varied uh, information from different departments within, within other organizations and things like that. So, yeah. Brilliant. So you've recently launched a new business support centre in Melbourne. Uh, how is that going for you and your customers? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, we, we already had um, a, a number of staff dedicated um, to looking after business. Um, but we did, um, we did have our organisations to split into sort of three sales areas. We had our residential sales area, we had our small business sales area, and then we had our, um, our enterprise and, and government type sales area. Um, so I decided um, to actually combine small business and enterprise government into, into one department um, because um, in the spirit of simplifying things and make it easy for customers to talk to us and to get, to get what they need, instead of getting passed from one department to another, um, our frontline um, sales staff based in Melbourne can, uh, can provide exactly the same information that one of our business development managers can. And in the end, um, uh, there was sort of this uh, thing about, oh, you're buying a complicated service. Well, most of these bigger services aren't actually complicated. They're, they're just bigger. Um, they're still an internet service, for instance. Um, they're just bigger and fatter. Um, there's no reason why that can't be dealt with by frontline sales staff. Um, so we've changed that and, um, and so far it's been very successful. And um, there's been, uh, I must admit, a few naysayers that have come across what we've done, said that won't work. Um, well, I'm happy to say that we're selling those bigger services directly out of our call centres now, um, and uh, and so far so good on that front. Oh, very nice. <laughs> it's nice to put naysayers in their place, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is, definitely. All right. So, um, if a partner or an enterprise end user or some other customer wanted to engage with Aussie Broadband, what is the best way to do it? Well, the best way first would be to jump onto our carbon portal and have a bit of a have a bit of have a bit of a look. Um, it's it's open to everybody to to uh, to go to and register. So you can create yourself a carbon account. You just go to carbon.aussiebroadband.com.au and uh, create yourself an account. Um, right there, you can start doing your service qualifications. You can look at the at the pricing um, uh, and and everything that that you can do. Um, if you are a, an IT company or an MSP partner and wish to receive the, the there's discounted pricing um, for our, for our partners um, because they uh, they essentially you know are our frontline support at that point so they uh, they get a discount for that factor. Um, at that point, if you you like carbon and you you like what you see and you, and whatnot, then um, have a chat to one of our partner managers just by calling our our main 1300 number um, and they'll get some partner agreements just some T's and C's that need to be ticked off um, out and, uh, and and off you go after that you can start ordering services uh, left right and center. Easy. <laughs> All right so, uh, that concludes our TJ team at IT Jam with Aussie Broadband's General Manager of Sales Aaron O'Keefe. Thank you so much for talking to us today. No thank you.